MindPal solution presents another FileMaker professional video. <coughs> Welcome to another FileMaker professional video. I am Manjit Behra. Uh, here we discuss about slide control in this video I am going to show you how to create and use slide control in FileMaker in FileMaker 13 the new layout object introduce this one that is slide control slide control is a advanced object Here I will explain how to create slider, how you can do the designing of slider as well as how you can use this slide control object feature for different purposes. Let's see. These are the basic settings that uh, provided by FileMaker to design the slide control. Let's create one slide control. This is the layout. This is layout menu, object menu. Here you can find the slide control. Choose slide control here then just drag one here is the setting box open here then you can create slides by click 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 the plus button it will increase the number of slides if you minus 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 then only one remain here other as goes out this is to increase or decrease the number of slides this one is the navigation for layout here you can change the slider to uh, make designing or you can directly go to that dot and click to open the respective slide but the thing is that some if you disable that one then only this navigation key will help you to go to the respective slide and do the designing this is to enable disable these dots navigation dots and here you can increase the size of navigation dot like here this has been increased if I decrease this or uh, 2 then it will be very small dot you can see and this setting is to enable swipe gesture and that will take and while you use the application this light control on a mobile devices like iPhone iPad or any touch skin uh, laptop or desktop you can use that one and to put other color features designing features you can here go to s the appearance choose the slide control or slide control panel or the dots the dots is to color and he these dots uh, to make modification for them you choose this one you choose the color here red green as you want like this 
and this one the panel this is the panel you can modify it blue black anything you can give the panel color you can style it you can give uh, the border and everything and this is the whole slider that uh, if you want to do some designing you can uh, for the outline you can give from here this is one this save yeah you can now comes with the slide control is ready to use let's <coughs> go to the examples that uh, we are having slide control can be used in two purposes uh, one is to show the picture slide another one is to use as a task why we use slide control as a task uh, sometimes as you know in our previous uh, version we need a something like that uh, transparent tab to make the tab hidden so in that case the slide control will help you let's come to the general slide control that used for picture purposes picture slider like here or if you are in a uh, mobile devices you just swipe out swipe out swipe out then it will change the slides this is a normal thing that uh, having the normal general setting there is nothing more to describe here but if you want to use the slide control as hidden tabs like I am having here if you go to the view there is no any thing over here right this one but if you click one button this is the slide open if you click here nothing will be appear over here if you select there is another slide open here if you click this one this will display you the third slide if you click here it will open the fourth slide this is to this is the concept where you can use slider as a hidden tab so if we go to here this is the slide this is having four sliders and to show and hide I have put a condition over here this one the global variable uh, while user click on this button that uh, global variable set some data so it will uh, showing the respective slider and the respective slider will be shown according to your condition okay let's go to the script how you can do the designing stuff I am click on button one here this this is the sample script here you can see first the script is enabled here this is the parameter that came uh, by the button because you need to uh, get sense uh, where the script is called and according to that you will show the slider so this is to receive the parameter and this is to enable the slide object 
and according to the condition you are navigating to the respective slider each slider is having the name one one object name and according to the condition it is going to the respective slider and it it is open the first slider is come and on clicking this one it will close the slider by disabling the global variable if you see here the first slider is name slider 1 If you go to slide 2, this name is slider 2. If you go to fourth one, this is name is fourth slider. And here we are passing the parameter 1, 2, 3, 4, the slider number. And it's generating the condition and it uh, doing the stops. According to that, the sliders are open here. This is the uh, slide control thing that you can use as hidden tabs. Here is the link uh, to get the example file that uh, shown over here. You can go and uh, download the file here. Thank you. Hope uh, you have enjoyed this video and will uh, want to provide you other slides so you can contact us. This is our contact. Okay. Thank you.